brother. And we would like to introduce some more friends. P I L E. What's that spell? Time. Look them. Do their thing. Hi, I'm the letter T, and I'm terrific and tremendous. I mean, without. I mean, to have a good time, you have to have the letter T and everything. You know, I so am I. I'm intelligent and very important to the word time. Without me, time would be nothing. I need no improvement. I'm... Move over. I'm ill. I'm magical, magnificent. And without me, what would the word time be? This is a tie. <laughs> They call me Tim. <laughs> Look at that. If we don't get the system, they're taking our job. Go get them. I guess time ran out.
The Honorable Judge Hines presiding. Could you please place your right hand on your wallet? <laughs> oh no! Ambulance! Ambulance! I didn't ooh, think I was going to be ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. May I please take a seat? Can I please have my first witness? Your Honor, my client would like to address the court. I'm accusing much time lying without a license. And how do you know this? I saw him. Is this true lunch time? Well, I love to fly when I have fun. <laughs> Can I please have my next witness? I'm accusing bad time because of him. I have to go to bed at 8. Without bedtime, you'd be tired all the time. Well, that's true. We will be back in a few minutes for a short break. Hang time! Hang time! Yeah! What? Where's that one going? Hey, 
In the beginning, man had no other way to express himself other than rock paintings. <laughs> Next came the Egyptians. After that was Mona Lisa. You don't know how hard it is to keep this smile. <laughs> Next was Whistler's mother. Sometimes it rubs off on you. is brought in and we came to Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> now with modern minds, we have a white cow in a snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Just try. I'm just giving you a step off. We've never done a thing. 
Look, who are they? Those are Josh and Reese. Oh, I bet you can beat them. Oh, races. Racers in the Father Sunday race. Get at the starting line. Only sons are allowed in this event. I'm willing to bet you. Maybe I'll bet too much. A dollar. That's my son. I get your son. A whole dollar at all? Okay, $100. Runner up.
Well, Dan Montgomery. <laughs> well, what do you happen to be doing today? Okay, well, see, this Barbie here, okay, the red shirt with the blue pants, or the green shoes with the red shirt, or what do you think? Wait, not so complicated. Oh, not so complicated. Can't handle it. Okay, black shoes. <laughs> Barbie. Barbie. Isn't she a cutie? Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> Get me out of this crib. Hey, <laughs> you first. It's Chucky. <laughs> um, is there a particular reason why you're banging a Barbie doll's head on the floor? <laughs> it's sick. <laughs> and I see. I suppose that'll cure it, right? Of course! Well, I hope so. <laughs> Look at what I got. I got a nickel from the tooth fairy. See? I'm gonna go buy a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> Your mommy teaches anything. My mommy teaches me how to do my hair. And your shoes. My daddy taught me how to do my shoes just last week. You're so incompetent. I'm not being incompetent. <laughs> your socks. My oh. Sister taught me how to do my socks, too. Get me out of this crib, please. 20 years later at a school reunion. <laughs> well, hello there. Who might you be? I'm Montgomery Ward. Excuse me, uh, who are you? It's me, Camper. Oh, I'm sort of happy today. I'll well, say. I just think that your first time that is bad. Well, I'll be giving you a fine one, you know. Oh, well, I'm a fashion designer. Oh, and here's my model, Brooke. Shields, that is. <laughs> yes, we all knew that she was going to be a model someday. I'm Chucky. It's Chucky. Dr. Chucky. Dr. Chucky. Yes, I'm a brain surgeon. <laughs> Hello. Guess what? I just made my fifth sale. Made me millions. I just bought my fifth Lamborghini. Oh, that had to be Thelma. Brooke, your hair. Oh, you look so beautiful. And, Joey, your shoes are tied. Well, because I'm not the dog blah 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 Um, your socks need some help. Oh, I'll hire me. You know what? I wonder what ever happened to Bonnie. Nobody knows the troubles I see. <laughs> Nobody knows my sorrow. Give me
join us in a normal day as we see the trials and tribulations of living in the time zone. <laughs> Mr. Harper, setting his alarm clock, discovers that he put it in a different time zone. He is two hours late getting up. You're late. He runs outside into a different time zone and discovers that he's now two hours early, so he decides to pop into the diner for breakfast. Hello, sir. What's your specialty? Two-hour-old pancake. <laughs> he eats his breakfast and walks outside into a different time zone and discovers he's two hours late for work. He has to hurry. Harper, you're late for work again. What's your excuse this time? I'm an hour early. See, right there, I'm an hour early. Now I'm an hour late. I'm an hour early. I'm in an hour early. Now I'm right on time.
<laughs> See how she used her time wisely? Wouldn't you love this new perfume at your local department store? Hey, let's go get some! All right! Uh, welcome to Fries R Us. May I take your order? The fastest fast food in the world. Step right up. Uh, yes, sir. What would you like? <gasps> One. <laughs> Rise, come look. Uh, would you like anything else, sir? Uh, <laughs> Rise, come look. Uh, sir, would you like anything to drink? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
Will you marry? Of course! And as for you, do join us in a little game we like to call the Courtyard Quickie. What we have here is a series of skits that all portray a famous time saying. Now, at the end of each skit, you must guess what this famous saying is. Are you ready? Yeah. One more time. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Whoa. Yes. 
lot of times. No. Anybody? Anybody else? Do you guys like to, Oh, here's a hand in the front row. Racing time. Racing time. Is that what you said? Yeah. Racing time. Racing time! <laughs>
No, time to stand still. Yes, right in the back. Yes, that's you. Time's up. No, no, no. Anybody have the answer? Come on, the stage. Yes, you in the front. No, no. Yes, you again. Changing time? No, no, no. Are they out of time? No. No, they're not out of time. Yes, right in the back.
champion, hard to believe it, isn't it? Chalky. Second to 
you're not gonna leave me, because you're my best pal.
Marvin Jr., I have a premonition that the back phone will be ringing any minute now. Marvin. Yes, Chief, what is it? Hello, Batman, I have a job for you. Seems yes. as though the Joker has made a machine to <clears throat> stop time. You know that is impossible, Chief. Obviously it is. They are hiding out in the warehouse on uh, 42nd Street. Just as I suspect, we'll be there in a minute, boss. Uh -huh. On the back pole. Hey guys, you know what I did? What, boss? I invented a machine to stop time. We can rip off any store we want. So where do you want to rip off? K-R! A jewelry store. God, boss, you have no taste. I know. Well, here, these last your books so you won't be caught in the effect. Huh? Never mind, let's go. Yeah. Joker Jr. Batman Jr. I thought you were frozen with everyone else. Have you become so silly, Joker? You know I have a machine that can get out of any of your tactics. My undecided time stopping spray. Shh, 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 shh. Never leave home without it. You can't hurt me. Fuck Jr. Go Jr. Get them.